All right, so an idea came to me about what I could do for a Gang of Daggers TV show. Um, since it's problematic getting a bunch of high school kids, teenagers, to uh, basically <laughs> do a live action show where there's going to be you know fighting uh, and a very adult themes. You know, how do I how do I fill a high school with kids like that? Um, because ideal, that's ideally what I want. I want to show the day by day, the four years, the you know these kids, these personalities, um, you know, the things that they're involved in. Show the growth. Show you know, <laughs> it's like you know, show the scrawny kid becoming uh, you know, this beefcake of a you know of a fighter kind of thing. But uh, that can be a challenge. So instead. What if I went for high school dropouts, uh, kids or you know, young adults going for their GEDs, you know, basically get the 18-year-olds who are the second chance kids, the guys who uh, you know, they had whatever issues and struggles, they had to go through juvenile hall uh, or life circumstances just really have ruined things for them. So. Uh, I'm basically, because, the, the, okay, this works out in a lot of ways. The setting I have for the show is inner city, high school, uh, gang written, just the worst place you want to send any kid to, and, yeah, get kids who have experienced all those bad negative things, and, you know, say, all right, we're going to train you to be an actor, you get to basically relive a high school experience and share your experiences, your stories, on the screen. The, uh, the, and all these kids will have experience being physical, being active, um, by, by this point, young adults. And so they can relate these very personal experiences. Um, and they, they're not going to shrink from physical activity. So then the other idea of having uh, half the school divided into uh, these people who are training and learning stage fighting, that works because now I give those guys, or, or you know, it's like, okay, you know, yeah, you get to learn how to fight and you know, they can bring whatever experience and uh, show off. And, that's, it's, and frankly, that's you know what's always interesting is like you know, okay, let's see a guy show off and then uh, either deliver or be you know proven like you know, nah, you're not that good uh, at fighting. So yeah, there's that uh, aspect of it. The the people who have acting chops, uh, yeah, that's that that be just interesting to you know, give those guys the opportunity. Um, the kids who they got you know tattoos, uh, you know on their necks, you know hands, arms, you know even their faces, or, or piercings. Yeah, those will be you know the kids on Earth in this high school, and then uh, the kids who you know have faces made for radio. You know, just they're not the most attractive people. Uh, they're the population for this other world, which would make sense because it. You know, it <laughs> You show primitive times, primitive people, and like, oh, they just happen to have perfect teeth. And uh, you know, anybody who's served in the army <laughs> can tell you <laughs> a lot of people don't have perfect teeth. Um, so, yeah, it's it solves that issue, it solves that problem, and it's providing this service of, you know, provide. You know, it. I'm creating a school. That gives these young people a second chance. They, you know, they can be in a learning environment. The uh, it, it also allows them, like you know, be, because you know, part of it is there's going to be the acting, this you know, sort of key TV show going on, and then there's all the other other projects uh, that people can engage in, and uh, you know, teaching all these young people all these other skills related to filmmaking with writing, uh, camera work, uh, editing, 
you name it. So it's yeah, I, I think that can work. That um, it, it just solves so many issues and can even take advantage of different uh, government programs to help in education and you know, right, removing problem people from problem situations. So um, yeah. It's, it, it would be an interesting way to go about it. So, and yeah, it's so. If there's anybody out there who, um, <laughs> like you know, they they're you know working in inner city programs where like okay, I got a, you know a bunch of kids who they have energy, they have talent, but they need something. You know, they need uh, basically a job. This could be that uh, job. This could be something that opens up a new career for them. Um, yeah, so, some ideas.